Hello everyone, this is the start of a playlist that is going to describe how to create a new MySQL database through phpMyAdmin. The distribution that I'm using is MAMP. So here we are in phpMyAdmin. First thing I need to do, I've got no databases here. All these three databases are just to do with the functionality in the background of uh, phpMyAdmin and MySQL. So to create a new database, click on new, and I'm going to call my database db underscore college create. The database is now created, but I have no tables in this database. So the first table that I'm going to create for this college administration system is a student's table. And the name I'm going to give this student's table is T students. Number of columns, I can edit this later on, but I'm going to choose six columns to start off with. I'll click on go. And I'll be given all of these dis six different columns or fields, and I just have to fill in all of the different details. First up is the primary key. Student underscore ID is what I'm going to choose, and it's going to stay as an int. I choose eight for all of my lengths for all of my ints. Because this is a primary key, just this once, I'm going to have to go over here, and I'm going to have to index. I'm going to have to say that it's a primary key. That automatically comes on and says, do you want to add an index to this? Yes, I do, because it's a primary key. And also, I want to check on this auto increment checkbox, which allows MySQL to take care of all of the numbering of any new records that go in to that table. That's student ID done. Uh, next up, I'm going to start adding in different uh, fields for the forename. That's going to be a var car, one that takes text. Usually I put in 80 for my var cars, uh, and uh, surname is going to be var car as well, 80. Uh, my next one is going to be a date of birth field, and I'll call that just DOB. And this is going to be of type date. And I can put in a fairly big length for that as well. And then the final two fields are going to be address. That is going to be a var car, 80. And lastly, I'm going to put in phone. And that also is going to be a var car. Even though it's a phone number, it's not actually an arithmetic number that you have to do any calculations on. It's more like a code. And also, putting it as a var car will allow me to add in other non numeric types of symbols or characters like round brackets for local prefixes or pluses for international codes. After I've added in all of those details for my fields, I can just click on save. If I want to add in any other fields, I can just go up to the top here and click on go. But I'm happy with the fields I have here, so I'm just going to click on save. And that table has been created. I can see it here in the structure tab. I can see all of the different fields. I can see my primary key icon beside student ID. I can also see that this is auto-incremented, and that table is ready for data. At the moment, I've run a query just saying select all from T-Students. I can see that there's no data there at the moment. If I want to insert one record of dummy data into this table, I can just easily go into the Insert tab. That will line up all of the different six fields. I don't need to put in a student ID because I checked on the auto-increment checkbox. I just have to worry about the others. So I'll fill in just one quick piece of data here and put in a date of birth and address. And finally, a phone number. Click on go. One record has been inserted. I can see the SQL statement executed and click on browse. And I see that piece of data there, that new record in my new table, T-Students. So that's how to just start off a new table in PHP, MyAdmin, and MySQL. And my table is called T-Students.